Good evening. Uh, coming to you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My name is Scott Lurie. I'm the founder of thehardmoneyco.com. And tonight we are putting on the first of a series of webinars for real estate investors to discuss uh, the various different components of real estate investing uh, tonight with an intro into private money for real estate investors. Um, anybody who should be, anyone in attendance should be focused on real estate, wealth creation, cash flow, OPM, other people's money, um, and any variety of real estate that we can discuss tonight, we're going to go over. We've got one hour with you tonight. We are really excited to be here with you, and uh, I can't thank you enough for joining us. Your time means a lot to everybody, including yourself, and we want to make sure that this hour is very productive for yourself. Uh, free webinar series. This is exactly what it is. When I started in real estate, uh, we didn't have coaches. We didn't have web webinars. We didn't have um, many of the amazing opportunities and tools, YouTube that's out there today. So this is an opportunity for us to give back to the real estate community through free webinar series. This is free. There is no sales pitch. I don't have anything to sell you. We are a private lender. We'll discuss private lending, but I don't have anything to sell you. There's no classes. There's no materials. There's no books. There's nothing at the end of this. Take what you can out of it. It's free. Um, and uh, if you have any friends or family that are interested in real estate, please maybe invite them to our next series. Um, we're going to give you real accessible routes to wealth creation. For me, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, I was a uh, starving artist at 23 years old, graduated from college and was trying to figure out how to get my path in life. We'll talk briefly about that. We're going to talk comprehensive strategies. We're going to get into risk profiles. We're going to get into everything you might consider in real estate and what it's going to take for you which is a unique path for each of us, is to get to be successful in real estate. Um, future topics that we're going to be going over, we're going to be talking about many different things, not tonight, but in future free webinars. These are all free. I encourage you to join us. I encourage the world to join us. Free content. I'm not selling you anything. As I said, there's nothing to sell you. Um, I just want to be able to share with you a little bit about my journey and then how you can be successful in real estate. Real estate has provided a great uh, opportunity for me, uh, and I know it can provide one for you. Uh, in those topics, uh, we're going to be discussing valuations, alternative financing, negotiating tactics. One of the biggest things is negotiating tactics. How do you make the offer? How do you buy a property at a discount? How do you become successful with your offer? We always say you make your money on the buy, but how do we actually do that? Um, and then from there, uh, we're going to discuss share of sales, uh, financial modeling, which gets a little boring, but relatively important. Rehab strategies, if you want to be a rehabber, scope of work, what does that mean? Market analysis, how do we even determine what the value of the properties are? Risk management, and then portfolio growth. How do you grow? How do you scale? How do you become what you want to be in your real estate journey? Um, a little bit about the Hard Money Co. and the company I founded. We fund your deals, repairs, dreams, flips, rentals. We fund real estate transactions. Um, I share this with you um, just to let you know that we do have a funding source. We're not here to sell you on our funding source. I'm here to sell you on the opportunity of real estate. If the Hard Money Co. can be a, a resource for you, I encourage you to check us out. But remember, um, real estate gives you a, a, an opportunity to create wealth, cash flow, and opportunities. Um, and so I, I look forward to obviously sharing those, sharing the, my story with you. So let me paint you this picture. Who is this person? Let's go back to August of 2003. That was me. I'm at a zero, ground level zero. I have zero real estate. I have zero assets. And for all intents and purposes, I'm broke. I have no money. What I did have was one goal. I only had one opportunity when I was a 23-year-old kid. I had one dream. And that was to be wealthy. All I wanted to do was be wealthy. And so I was ready to be committed to it, but I had no path at that point other than everyone I saw around me was focused on real estate. And real, real estate, every person I interacted with who was involved in real estate, I perceived to be wealthy. And as a result of that perception, that drew all of my attention. It was like a magnet, sucked me in and said, how do I become successful in this space? So a little bit about myself. I grew up in a middle, middle class family. My parents uh, have a family business locally in Milwaukee. Um, all of their cash and cash flow during good and bad years was going into their business. Um, but I wanted to pursue a way to create wealth for myself. And so I knew there was only one path and that was real estate. So I started wholesaling. I did a couple flips. 
And I did, I got started with what we call OPM, other people's money. And at that point, OPM was a whole different world, right? Because I was asking anybody in the world who would listen to me, can I borrow some money from you, right? What are you doing? I'm flipping houses. What does that even mean? I'm going to take a distressed asset and I'm going to sell it for more. I'm going to make improvements to it. I'm going to buy a rental property for $100,000. I'm going to put $50,000 into it. And I'm going to make it worth two fifty. dollars How do you do that? That's not possible. Oh, yes, it is. And then after hundreds of flips and after acquiring thousands of units, I realized that there was a better need for funding for people. One that's transparent, one that's efficient, one that's quick. And that's how we created the Hard Money Co. So as part of my mission here, I deal with a lot of people on a daily basis. And I want to layer in here a few business tips that I'm going to give you along the way. If they're useless to you, uh, pass on them. If they mean something to you, please read them again. Uh, this webinar will be available to you after the class, after the webinar. And uh, once again, it'll be sent out. It's a free link. Uh, pass it on to anybody who's interested. So you'll see a couple business tips throughout here. And these are business tips because of my interaction with people every day. Um, I always wonder, man, who's on the other end of that email? And so just a quick business tip. When you're reading emails, slow down, read them thoroughly, understand what's in the email, and then respond. It's always best to know what's going on with your business, your partners, your contractors, Slow down, read the emails, be effective and efficient with the email communication. So we go back to filling a need. What was the biggest opportunity I realized when I first got started in 2003? Leverage. I could buy a million dollar piece of real estate with none of my own money, zero, and $200,000 of John's money, and I could own a piece of real estate that's worth a million dollars. You can't do that in any other sector of our, of our ecosystem anywhere. Real estate is the only path that allows you to create massive leverage. And for that reason, I realized that real estate was great for me. And the power of filling that need helped me change the funding sources and how we provide transparent, quick, honest funding to other real estate investors. I also wanted to empower a real estate investor. This world out there is very competitive. How many people have gone out and made an offer and got deflated because there were 47 offers on the property? Me. How many people have gone out and looked at a home and there were 35 other people looking at the same distressed piece of property? Me. That happened two weeks ago to us when we were here in Milwaukee. It, it happens every day, but you have to figure out how to compete because remember, the first time people fail, they go away. And so in this scenario, no one's going away. You're not going to go away. We're going to teach you how to become successful in real estate. So by a show of hands on your webinar, how hard are you willing to work? Who's willing to work hard? How hard are you willing to work to earn $20,000? 75,000, 300? Anyone wanna earn a half a million dollars in real estate this year, 2024? How about a million dollars? I'm in the million dollar category. I wanna earn a million dollars in my real estate portfolio in 2024. Anyone else wanna do that? Are your expectations at 300,000? Are they at 20,000? Are they at 75,000? Whatever the number you have in your mind, you're going to hear this from me throughout. How hard are you willing to work to earn your desired level of income? And if the answer is really, really hard, then make sure that everything you are doing equates to working really, really hard. And working hard doesn't always mean that you're putting in a lot of hours. You also can be working very efficiently. So when you hear me ask you, how hard are you willing to work for that fifty dollars or $100,000? Think about that. What would happen if you were able to earn $100,000 in 2024 in your real estate career and it was to go in your bank account? You were to actually earn $100,000 in your real estate career this year and it would go into your bank account. What would that do for you? Would that change your life? Would that give you ammo to go make $200,000? Would that supplement your W-2 income? Would that be wealth creation for your family? Would you be able to buy another property and get more cash flow? Whatever that answer is, that's your own journey. But remember, how hard you're willing to work for it is the most important question you need to ask yourself every morning. Because every morning you get up, there's something going to distract you. Every morning you're going to get up, there's going to be another problem. I promise you. Every morning there's going to be a failure. But it's the people that are getting past that and realizing I'm willing to fight through that to earn whatever level of income it is on real estate. And that's important to me. 
I forgot to mention, if you have any questions during this webinar, if you type them into the chat, uh, we've got Danny Thompson, one of our senior loan officers here, who is uh, on our leadership team, who will be answering these questions in conjunction with myself. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. So pl please pop in and ask any questions as you, as you see fit. So what does it mean to use OPM? How many people have heard of the term OPM, other people's money? I have, because when you don't have money, it's only on dependent on one other person, other people to give me your money. And so what was the strategy of OPM? How do you even create OPM? And what does it mean to use other people's money? Well, in real estate, leverage is the key, right? We've talked about this already once, but we're gonna talk about it a little bit more. Leverage, other people's money allows you to buy an asset worth way more than the cash you have in hand because you're able to put debt behind equity and that gives you your total investment. So people can buy a million dollar property with $200,000 or $300,000. How can you do that in any other sector? You can't. And so that is what makes this so powerful is real estate and leverage, leverage and real estate. Marry them together in your mind. Whatever you're doing, always put OPM and debt or OPM and leverage together to get to where you're going. Leverage allows you to acquire control assets valuation of it at 10 times more than you even could. It's a powerful, 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 unbelievable opportunity and it only is in real estate. And then risk mitigation, right? It's limits the amount of exposure of your personal cash or how much cash you have invested in the deal. You can limit that by using OPM. Hey, I might invest in a deal that's worth a million dollars and I might put in $100,000, but John and Paul might put in $100,000 each. Now for $300,000, I've got a million dollar property and I put in $100,000. The power of leverage continues. Risk mitigation. I can put all of my money in. I could empty my bank account and buy that deal on my own, or I can use OPM and keep leveraging what I'm doing. And we're going to talk about how to do that. So let's talk about the role of a private lender, right? So private lenders, which we'll discuss, are anybody that's non-traditional lending, right? A private lender is your grandmother. That's a private lender. Your brother, your uncle. Your mother, your sister, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your brother-in-law, whoever is a private lender to you. That means it's a private relationship between you and, and the other party. That's a private lender. Most private lenders allow you to create an after repair valuation. That allows you to have your business plan come together. I'm going to buy 123 Main Street for $50,000, but it's worth $200,000 after I put in another $50,000. There's no other business that allows you to do that. There's no other type of lender that allows you to do that than a private lender. Private lenders allow you to do multiple deals. We can do more than one deal with a private lender. It's all about OPM, right? If I can do 10 deals and I can make $20,000 a deal net with OPM, that's a lot better than doing one deal and only making $20,000. 200, 20,000. You get the math, right? Private lenders also have a vested interest in your success. They want to get repaid, right? So we're focused as a private lender. We're focused on your success. We're focusing on how do we make sure you, as the real estate investor, are successful? Because after all, not every single real estate transaction is a smooth transaction. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. But as you think through the real estate transactions, not everything just goes like this. I bought a property. I made a million dollars. I wish it was like that. But it's not. And so we're going to talk through how to make it happen. But as a private lender, as me being a private lender, if you had a problem with your deal, I want to talk to you about it. But come to the table with solutions and let's work through them to be successful. So what are sources of private money? We, we briefly touched on this, but private money comes from friends and family. You've got a rich uncle, you've got a rich dad, you've got a rich brother, you've got a rich brother-in-law, you've got a Grandma who saved her savings, she's got a pension, she's got a 401k, uh, that's anyone under friends and family. You can create equity partnerships, right? We do those all the time. They're called syndications, where in exchange for your money, you become an equity owner in our company, which only buys real estate. Very traditional in today's world. Syndications happen all the time. And the owner and the partners all are in line to make sure that you're successful. We do syndications a lot in our multifamily development and our industrial developments, where we're building a ground up 150 unit multifamily and we're raising $10 million of equity. I'm going and finding $10 million of 
private money or syndicated money that comes into the way of, of, of LP, limited partnerships, and those people put their money into my business and we grow their business and in exchange for that, they get some of the profits. There's also private investors. There's private investors all over the place that are investing in money, investing in deals. They want to do deals. They want to be real estate investors. They're traditionally very private in nature. They, you find them through a friend of a friend. They're a colleague at work. There's someone that your friend refers you to. These are private investors. And then the, obviously the world that's booming or buzzing right now is hard money lenders. There's a lot of hard money lenders out there. There's a lot of brokers that are hard money lenders. We are a balance sheet hard money lender. We direct lend. Um, there are other folks that sell paper, they'll write a loan and then sell it. There are other people that broker loans. We at the Hard Money Car are actually a direct lender. Your application comes to us and we underwrite that directly. All different sources of money, but it's all OPM. It's not your money, it's other people's money. And if you gather the concept of other people's money and you're crafty, you're nimble, you are um, persuasive and you are diligent, you can be super successful in real estate. We talk about business tips. This is the one that gets me. It probably sounds a little fundamental. We talk about this all the time. Reply all. I get emails from people every day where there's multiple people copied on an email and they reply back to me only. But there's other people that want the information that's on that email. And so I always try to respond back, please reply all. And most people don't understand what that means. That simply means hit the reply all button if there's multiple people copied because the, all of the people on that list want to know what you're going to say. Pretty simple, but it's a it's a happens a daily frustration of mine, and I wanted to make a business tip for you so you can be a better business person. So let's do the math, right? Who, who likes talking about money? Me, numbers, me. Pretty boring, I guess. Um, I didn't. I've never seen any Harry Potter movies. I've never read a Harry Potter book. I have listened to podcasts about money. I do listen to audible books about money and business. I guess different strokes for different folks. Um, you should know how much your financing is costing you and, and what you're actually getting out of the financing. It's always more than just dollars and cents. It's not just, here's what it costs me, but there's more to the deal as you slowly and methodically educate yourself on the process. We have a loan calculator at the Hard Money Co. Uh, it's an easy loan calculator. It gives you a detailed look at your loan, right? That's looking at your loan. Um, if you look at the loan or the calculator, you can use it for our deal or anybody's deal, but it's a calculator. It's free. Use it. It costs you nothing. It's absolutely free, but it's a, it's a free loan calculator that helps you look at transactions and underwrite your deals and figure out how much it's going to cost you. The calculator is the most, uh, and most pro formas don't account for opportunity costs and lost deals and foregone opportunities. So you have to think through that. I'm not going to use a lender because I've got $150,000. I'm going to do it all on my own. Well, if you're doing it on your own, which is totally fine then plan on doing one or two deals or three deals a year. If you're going to use OPM and you have the access and the drive and the wherewithal, you're going to go from instead of making twenty-five dollars or $75,000 a year, you're going to be in the three to $500,000 range a year. OPM gives you the opportunity to make more money. I today still use other people's money every single day. Every single day, I am using OPM. So let's talk about it for a minute. What sounds better? Option A, we're going to earn $65,000, but you need to bring all of the $160,000 to do a deal. So you make $65,000 and you're going to empty your bank account and you're going to put $160,000 in. You're going to make $65,000. You can do that solo. You're on your own, right? There is no boss. You're the boss. You have no one else to talk to. You're the boss. You have no one else responsible. It's all your money. You have no mortgage on the property. It's all yours. Option B is you need $80,000 and you make $32,000, right? And how do you make thirty-two five? dollars Because you have a 50% partner. Your partner is earning 50% of your profits. You're earning 50% of your profits. He's giving you half your cash, he or she. You're giving half your cash. You're putting $80,000 into the deal. What if you use the Hard Money Co. or you use OPM? Let's talk about it. You can put in $20,000 of your own cash and earn $50,000. How, how does that happen? How can you put in $20,000? I want to just make it abundantly clear before I show you how that real estate, which we're going to discuss at multiple times today, 
Real estate is not a get rich quick business. You can earn money fast, but this is a marathon and it's a true marathon on how you grow your business and how you scale your business to be successful. It's methodical. I remember the first duplex I bought on 37th and Glendale in 2005. And in 2015, 10 years later, I paid down the entire mortgage at a 10 year mortgage. I was cash flowing $400 a month and I was paying down the mortgage over 10 years. And over those 10 years, at the end of that term of 10 years, I owned the property free and clear. I paid off my first mortgage in my life. My first mortgage in my whole life was paid off in 2015. I remember like it was yesterday and it was a major victory for me. We digress though. Let me show you how. Let me show you how this all works out, okay? So here's how it's done, okay? Let's go through it. So this is an actual flip that I am going to show you. I was involved in this flip only because my son, who was 16 at the time, bought this property. This is on 81st Street in Milwaukee. The home was unoccupied for 15 years. So you that are out there finding properties, bird dogging properties, looking for deals, looking for opportunities, you had 14.99 years to find this property before I did. It was out there. It was sitting vacant, run down. Look what was happening to it. There was squatters. There was raccoons. There were people living all over the place. There was craziness going on. What was happening there? It was a total disaster. Here's a few more pictures of the property. Imagine taking a nice nap on that bed tonight. Um, I think this raccoon is just sitting there, but that might be a, 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 a fake raccoon or a stuffed animal. The, the place was a complete mess. And when I walked into it, I'm assuming you know what I saw, because I know what my son saw, which was dollar signs. Ding, 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 ding. More, 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 more. And then, of course, this is what happened. This is what it turned into. This was the finished product. And I want to run you through the numbers on how my son made the money. Uh, and we're going to talk about it, okay? Because this is just a simple loan. I'm only using my son's loan because I feel I, we, have, we have 500 loans here a year that we could show you. Um, but I feel that I can share my son's information uh, more freely. So I'm just going through his deal. But disregard my son. Just look at the numbers. Just look at the core numbers here. And let's talk about it. So my son purchased the property. Well, this property was wholesaled, right? So this was a wholesaler. Does everyone know what a wholesaler is? Does anyone not know what a wholesaler is? So a wholesaler, just to, to make everyone a, an abundance of, of, of repetitive nature, is a, a wholesaler is someone who's out there finding properties, who's buying a contract, who's in, assigning their equitable interest in that contract to someone else for a fee. Okay, so that's, that's the, the relationship here. So a, con, a, a wholesaler bought this property, put it under a contract for $50,000. That was a hell of a buy. It was, it was a great buy. And they charged my son $10,500 in assignment fees. They earned $10,500. Now, if the person had the idea to swing for the fences, right? Swing for the fences and hit their home run, their grand slam out of this one, this was the one to refine. This is the one to do on your own. But instead, the assigner who assigned it to him, my son earned $10,000. So who's happy to earn $10,000? Well, of course, I would have liked to have earned $10,000. Everyone wants to earn $10,000, but let's keep going. So for this property, there was an estimated repairs of $100,000. We put our all-in number <clears throat> at, that's off, but $160,500, okay? So $160,500 went into this property. So they got a loan. He borrowed money from us at $148,000. So what does that mean? He paid 10% down of the purchase price plus the assignment fee, which got you to the $6,500. And then there were $10,000 in closing cost fees. He held the loan for about six months and paid interest, which was at 15% at the time. And he paid $14,000 interest. His all-in cost was $172,950. All in. He's all into this deal for $172,950 and sold the property for $235,000. Yes, he put it on the market with a realtor. Yes, we paid commission. 
$11,750. But for this whopper of a deal, he made 50 Gs. I ask the question again, how hard are you willing to work for 50 Gs? I hope the answer is so hard because 50 Gs will change your world. It will change my world. It's a lot of money. Every day you come in and try to make $50,000. Are there any questions? All right, don't be shy, guys. Anybody that wants to offer any questions uh, or has any questions, we got these beautiful T-shirts we'll be sending out to you if you ask any questions, so don't be shy. Uh, we got some uh, great swag here by, everyone knows the, the Burr strategy, but we got our own little shirt for you. So uh, we got a couple hats too. So um, <laughs> anybody asking any questions or engaging in this uh, webinar, we will absolutely be sending you a free t-shirt, um, compliments of the Hard Money Co. And uh, we appreciate your, your, your patience and participation. So, we go back to how are you willing to work for? And the question is what? $50,000 profit. So if you could do flip two properties a year, two, one, two, and make $50,000 a year, per $50,000 per flip, how hard will you work to make $100,000 a year? Could an extra $100,000 change your life? Answer the question in the chat, yes or no? Could, could $100,000 change your life, yes or no? Yes or no, simple question. Real estate is not for lazy people. Real estate is not a get rich easy scheme. Every business has challenges. Every business is difficult. I promise you that. There is no such thing as an easy day. Every day is a challenge. You have a challenge in the rental portfolio. You have a challenge with the financing. You have a challenge with cash flow. Every day is a challenge. But real estate is the best way to secure your financial freedom for those who are ready to hustle. It's that simple. It is. It's, the world is your oyster. We have 50 states of real estate that you can go and buy and make a profit on. There is no other industry like it. Think about it. What other industry could you go down to Illinois tomorrow if you're in Wisconsin and go buy a piece of real estate? That's a hard, but you can go do that on any other industry besides real estate. Do we get any yeses, by the way? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. So great question. So the answer is absolutely. So here's the $14,000 of interest he paid. That's his interest expense. Loan fees and interest. He had loan fees of $10,000. And his down payment, which is just money out of right pocket to left pocket, is the money. So the answer is absolutely. Every single dollar is accounted for in the $172,000 loans, fees, interest. Everything is in that number. So, so the net profit is $50,000. I, I, I have the check so I can actually show you the numbers. I, yes, the numbers are 50,000. Yes, everything was repaid. Yes, the loans were repaid. Yes, he paid interest. Yes, he paid fees. Yes, everything was paid. So the answer is absolutely yes, but it's $50,000. And so my comment back is, how hard are you willing to work for that 50 Gs? What's the biggest mistake beginners make? The biggest mistake beginners make is this. Beginners come into real estate. I can do it because he did it. I saw on Instagram his check for $12,000. Uh, my coach who just told me to buy his services for $50,000 just told me to go do these three things. Real estate takes forever to be successful. Forever is defined as a year, 365 days. So here's the problem. When you ask what beginners make, they don't buy deep enough. They don't evaluate the transaction fast enough. They aren't nimble enough. And after their 30th rejection, after you've written 30 offers and you got no, 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 no. Are you nuts? No, no. Are you nuts? No. You know what on the 31st offer happens? Nothing. They never offer the 31st time. It will take you 100 offers 
to get your first deal. How hard are you willing to offer and find 100 deals? 100 deals is a lot of work. 100 deals takes a lot of time. 100 deals is not 40 hours a week. It's 60. 100 deals is not going to the clubs and partying and not making yourself available the next morning and waking up at noon. It just isn't. I can promise you that because the guys that are making the money already have five offers into our office by noon by the time you're getting out of bed from the party. It's just a simple question. How hard are you willing to work? Real estate is not for the lazy people. Don't be lazy. You got here today. That's a great step. You're here today. You are here today. That's a huge opportunity. Hopefully you come to our next webinar. Great opportunity. We, we've got a bunch of questions that are coming in. I love the questions. We're going to be gathering out your t-shirts, so thanks for sending them. We're going to get to every question throughout the presentation. I promise you, I will stay after if I have to answer every single question, but I'll answer every single question. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to explain to you. I started with zero. I built up a portfolio of over 2,000 apartments. I've flipped hundreds of homes. I've wholesaled properties. I'm still real estate investing today. I'm building right now $200 million of real estate. I started in August of 2003 with nothing. The power of other people's money has driven me to my success today. Hard money. Let's talk about it. We're here. I, I'm, an, I'm an expert in hard money. If you're looking for me on Instagram, hard money, Scott, hard money, Scott, follow us. Content will be going on there. Uh, feel free to check it out. Add any comments, share whatever you'd like. Great. We'd love to see you. So what are the advantages of hard money, right? What are the advantages of hard money? What are the advantages of private money? There's unmatched flexibility, right? You want to go out and make deals? Great. We're here to help you as a private lender. You have unmatched flexibility. Well, I'd like to understand what this looks like. I'd like to discuss the after repair value. All of that is stuff we can do. This is the most important question, though. Someone asked about investors, what, what's their biggest mistake? Speed of execution. Do you know how many people are out writing offers? How many people have gone and looked at a property and they called the agent and there were 10 offers on the property? Me. I just did one. I just was at one with, with, with Danny. We went and looked at a flip. There, I think they got 17 offers. But if you think about it, 17 offers, price is important. That's important for sure. But time of closing, inspection, contingencies, all of that's important. We can help. Hard money lenders can help close in as fast as 10 days. You're just as good as the cash buyer. That is powerful. Preservation of equity. If you're using a hard money lender, you can come in with less cash. Our skilled investors, our seasoned investors that have already done three deals, come in with only 10% down. Think about that. 10% down, or I'm going to pay for the whole thing. 10% down of the purchase price. We fund 100% of the repairs. You can't find a better industry. Credit flexibility. We are an asset-based lender. Hard money lenders are asset-based. That means we evaluate the asset. I can strongly encourage you to manage your credit. If you don't have a 790 plus credit score, work towards that goal. Write that number down right now. Write this down somewhere in your world and write that down as your goal for 2024. Make it your goal to be a 790 credit score. When you have an obligation, pay it. If you can't pay the obligation, don't create the obligation. It's that simple. Yes, I understand there's, un there's circumstances, medical bills, family. I get it. Don't create excuses. Don't create the liability that you can't afford. And if you can't afford it, talk to the people. But write down 790. Everyone write down 790. I want you to focus on a 790 credit score. Credit is the driver at the end of the day that allows me to continue to use OPM to be successful. I can get the best leverage. I can get the best rates. I can get the best... Uh, 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 partnerships with my lenders because of credit. Don't sleep on credit. We're not a credit lender, meaning I don't judge you on your credit. We do inquire about your credit, but we're, we're an asset-based lender. The ARV, everyone know what ARV is? After repaired value. So you're telling me, Mr. Investor, that you can buy a property that's worth $200,000 for $50,000? I'm telling you that. Yes, I am. 
I'm telling you that right now. I'm telling you I can do that tomorrow. Every single day, you can buy a property that is worth more than you're paying by a serious amount of money. That's the after repaired value. We look at the ARV and we look at the after repaired value when we're considering your loan. That is powerful. You're even saying that I'm buying something that's worth only $50,000, but you're gonna value it at 200? Holy smokes, that's really the power of leverage. We talked briefly about repair costs, right? We fund 100% of your repairs. Other people fund various different portions of it. We fund 100. We want you to make the improvements to the properties. When you make the improvements to the properties, the property becomes better. And then investor partnerships. We deal with so many different investor partnerships in our ability as a lender. And I encourage you all to, to consider doing it on your own, solo. Finding a real partner. Partnerships, I've been involved in partnerships that never work, that are disasters. I like to do things on my own. I've got really good partners that I partner with today. My partnerships is a vetting experience. I want to know that you're going to show up and give me 110% because who wants to have a partner that is a lazy POS? No one. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be miserable every single day. Huh. Um, let's talk about the business tips again. Over-communicate. I love when people call me. People call me every single day. Hey, uh, Scott, I'm John Smith, and I'm on, I have a loan with you, and I have a couple questions. John, that's a great question. Let's talk about it. Let me get you resources. Let me try to help you. Hey, Scott, I ran into a problem. Do you got any solutions for me? Of course I do. John, thanks for calling. Over-communicate. When you have a lender, talk to them. When you have a partner, talk to them. Don't stick your head in the sand and think things are going to get better. They never do. They never do. Communication is the number one void in our country. If you don't communicate, if we're not communicating better, if we're not communicating faster, if we're not communicating frequently, and if we're not communicating properly, everything falls apart. And how many times have you been in a scenario where it's like, well, if you just would have told me, I would have reacted differently. Well, thank you for communicating. Communication is the key. Please over communicate. <clears throat> we want to talk a little bit about our loan terms. I'm happy to share them with you because we do get questions. We can close in as fast as seven to 10 days. You want to be a cash buyer? You want to put your money where your mouth is? I'll help you. Once again, if you find me on the Instagram at Hard Money Scott, uh, I'd love for you to follow our content. Um, I put my money where my mouth is. I can tell you. Out of the 500 loans I closed last year, I never once told someone I was going to do something and didn't do it. Never once, not a single time. I will always do what I say I'm going to do. You can always bank on that. And you should always do what you say you're going to do. We lend up to 65% of the, say it with me, ARV, after repaired value. <clears throat> we offer a six-month term. What does that mean? Urgent renovation is important. We have people... We have clients, we have great clients that are buying a house today and in 30 days, the house is back on the market. And I have other clients that are buying a house today and in six months, haven't started the rehab. And I wanna go and explain to them, this guy is kicking your ass. He is smoking you right now because he's already renovated three houses and you haven't gotten started. What is your problem? And what happens is the series of, of excuses. <clears throat> but the person who's putting the house back on the market in 30 days is going to do 15 deals this year. And they're going to raise their hand when I say, who wants to make $500,000? They're raising their hand. They made the 500. $500,000. Holy smokes. $500,000. I'm assuming based on when we talked about who would change your life for a hundred grand, it would certainly help if you got $500,000. You can do it. These guys aren't, they don't have a magic widget. They don't have, they just have urgency. I bought the house today. I got my crew in there. I'm painting, I'm renovating, I'm pulling up. I've got, I'm painting the exterior. The landscaping's being done. And guess what's happening? It's being sold. And these houses are being sold in one day on the market. Remember we hear about, oh, the world's falling apart and the economy's falling apart. Bull. The housing market has a massive shortage. People with 8% mortgage rates, 7% mortgage rates are still today buying houses at record paces. When you go to buy and sell a flip, there's still people writing five offers at over asking. But the world's falling apart, Mr. CNBC, Mr. Uh, Economist. I don't think so. 
We do have an interest rate. It is 15%. It is interest only. That's one and a quarter point a month. Think about it. If you are done with our loan in three months, you paid not 15%. Do the math. Educate yourself. That's an annual rate. Each month you pay, you only pay a one and a quarter percent. When you're done, you stop. When you stop, there's no prepayment penalty. Have a nice day. The people that are rehabbing the loan in 30 days and paying us off in 60 days, the cost of their money is nothing. <clears throat> and instead of having a partner, they have themselves. They get this prize. I like this prize for them. 500000 So our business, in summary, we're high interest rate short-term loans. That's what a hard money lender is, high interest rate short-term loans. The difference for us is we have in-house underwriting. We underwrite everything in-house right behind you here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Come visit me. If you can't visit me, follow our content at, at Hard Money Scott. We'll show you our office, our, our, our pit, where everyone's doing all the hard work. We'd love to show you. We do on-site originating. We've got originators that are right here, right behind you in Milwaukee. They'll close your loan wherever you want to do your loan. And partnerships. We'll work with you every single way. You've got a problem. You need help. You need guidance. You need support. You want to talk about something. You want to ask a question. You want to communicate. Whoa. We're ready to talk to you. That's our promise to you at the Hard Money Co. So here's our process. If you visit thehardmoneyco.com, thehardmoneyco.com, here's what you'll find out. You can fill out an application. It takes you from there to here. Initial review comes in our doors. <clears throat> we review and respond. It goes to underwriting. Terms are offered. You get a loan term sheet. We vet the property. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do a property valuation. We determine what we can offer you, and we give you loan terms offered. From there, it goes to processing. You'll sign that. You'll go to processing. And then guess what? It's Sunday. It's game day, guys. We're going to closing. That process is so easy that you can do that 10 more times. I'm sure you can process that. And from the closing, you go to the repair draws right here. We have a 24-hour turnaround on our repair draws, and we will get you your money in 24 hours. ACH into your account. My job is to get you your repair funds as fast as possible. We did 125 repair draws on average every month. We distributed $17 million to our investors last year for repairs. We want to see you improve the property because that's what gets you the ARV, which gets you the money. Then you get to this point. Ha ha, cha-ching, that's why it's green. Creative guys. We got green, we got money here. This is where the money comes from. How many people have heard of the Burr strategy? Burr. How many people have heard of the sales strategy right here? Both of them work. If you're using the birth strategy and you're refinancing and you're going to cash out, we just had a client cash out <clears throat> on two loans and they put in their pocket tax-free $75,000 on two deals in 60 days. They're $75,000 in, in their pocket tax-free in 60 days. Who wants that? Who's going to work hard for it? Using the power of OPM, they use the power of OPM, and in 60 days, they put in their pocket 75 Gs. Congratulations to them. I'm proud of them. I'd be proud of you too. Sure. So fees and closing costs, we traditionally charge a 5% origination fee and 15% interest. Yes, it's expensive. It's not any less expensive than a bad partner or unleveraged. If you have the cash, you don't need us. If you want to leverage and grow and use OPM, if I could have done this before, if I had the means when I started, I would. my portfolio is worth $300 million. I've got partners in every one of those deals. That thing's cost me, all those partners have cost me like $50 million. But if I would have just paid financing fees over that period of time, it would have, I would have still had the $50, $50 million and I would have paid, I don't know, $10 million in fees. Great. I would have loved to do it. So those are our fee structure. To get from 20% to 10% down payment, we require three loans that have been, excuse me, let me take that back. 
for our 20% to 10%, or we charge, we, we require a 20% down payment for anyone who has not validated or completed three loans that they can verify for us. So you can do them with us, you can do them with anybody, with your grandma, your brother, your sister, your uncle. We want to verify that you have completed three transactions. We want to make sure that you know how to operate and can handle the bumpy roads. Three transactions, we know all don't go perfect. So we want to make sure you're involved in that. Once you get to that point, it's 10% down. At the closing, if you have repairs, we fund $3,000 immediately that day into your bank account to start your repair process. $3,000 at the time of closing goes into your bank account to start your repairs. The repair process is very simple. We have a website, <clears throat> thehardmoneyco.com. It says draw repair draw. And I don't want to get too lost in that right now. But if you click on that, you would submit the work that you've completed that matches your scope of work that we've taken at the onset of your loan. And we then issue you a link to pictures, true pics, and you will take pictures of the work that's completed. You'll send them to us. We have a team that will review them. Once they're reviewed and confirmed, <clears throat> we will ACH you that money. It'll be in your account that day or the next morning. It's a 24-hour turnaround. It's that simple. If I can get you the money, you can keep moving forward. You can keep rehabbing. It's the perfect solution. Um, what, did I miss anything else on that? Okay. <clears throat> uh, if you go to the Hard Money Code, we got an easy application. You can QR code it right here. Uh, if you'd like to, there's an easy application. You select, I'm a real estate investor. Uh, you complete it in five minutes. You're flying. If you don't have a deal today and you want to just be on our list, get on our newsletter. Get on our contact us list. Get in touch with us. We'll just talk to you. We have a borrower portal. Once you get in here, get your borrower portal. You can keep track of all of your loans. Once you put in a one, you already have all your information. I don't need to know your name again. I know your name. It's already in the portal. This helps you add addresses and build a portfolio. We have people that are doing 30, 40, 50 loans a year with us. 50 loans. You know how much they're making? They're making a million dollars a year. <clears throat> Plus, why are you not doing that? And don't tell me you can't find the deals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's talk about this. I see this. This has taken, this is a personal business tip. Make When you win, celebrate, but do it quietly. We have victories every single day. And sometimes you don't see them driving around in a Rolls Royce <clears throat> with a, a new, new watch and a new whatever expensive bag. Celebrate quietly. All of that is distraction and nonsense. All of it is. Celebrate your victories, but do it quietly. Put all of the crap you see along on the Instagram aside. No one cares. If you are so focused on that, you're going to die broke because you're going to be chasing a dream that never ends. Put all that aside. All right. Thank you all for, for being here for our first webinar. Uh, anybody who's part of this webinar, who's registered, uh, you will receive a $200 closing cost credit just because we want you to have a $200 cost credit. It is just something as a thank you for being part of this. Every webinar you join, you'll be able to get a closing cost credit. We've got a series of events of closing cost credits, uh, of, excuse me, a webinar, a series of various different things. I'm going to get into the weeds with you guys. I'm going to talk about property valuations, pro formas, accounting. How do I find deals? How do I source deals? What's the real world out there? Because whatever you see on Instagram is fake for the most part. I promise you that. You've seen how many real estate coaches that you're following right now that want to charge you thirty-five dollars or fifty dollars or $100,000 to tell you how to do it. Don't do it. Save your money. Here's what we can tell you. <clears throat> real estate is a game of hustle and perseverance. Are you willing to persevere? And do you have the hustle? If you have those, you can be successful in real estate. If something's worth $100 and you can buy it for $30, can you figure this out? Yes. You don't need someone to charge you hundred grand to figure that out. <clears throat> any questions, Danny? Do we have any questions? Yep. So we are an acquisition specialist. The question is, what kind of properties do we lend on? And um, how long do we do anything longer than six months? So our short answer is our bread and butter is a one to four family, single family home. That's our bread and butter. 
We, we're really good at a, a repair draw process. We're a home <clears throat> or a, up to four families in need of repairs. That's our specialty. Do we lend money on multifamily? We're closing on a 10 unit uh, somewhere in Illinois uh, next month, uh, excuse me, this month that we just approved today. Yes, we do. We lend on other stuff. Um, we're really good at this stuff, which is one to four family. But if you do have other deals that want, you want us to review, let's talk about them. We do have additional terms. If you need to extend the terms, it does cost you money. Please submit your loan application and we'll talk about it. Please consider longer and detailed rehabs. Buy less, make more money. Everyone wins. We don't, the question is, do we vet any GCs? <clears throat> that we're going to talk about in a different webinar, but let me tell you something. That is the most important thing in this business. But here's what happens. We don't vet GCs. We don't encourage people to give GCs down payments because I have heard more than countless hundreds of times, the GC took my money and didn't show up for work. Really? I know. That's why you shouldn't give a GC a down payment. How do I get him started? <clears throat> well, you have to work through the relationship. I, to this day, still work with GCs, and I've got a long-lasting partnership. The difference between my rehabs being successful, my renovations being successful, is all dependent on my general contractor. 100%. You've got to work with the best. The best is not cheap. The cheapest is the worst. The cheapest is the one that's going to take your money and leave. There are background checks. Run them. How many times have they been accused of a crime or convicted of a crime of theft? Lots, I promise you. You're not their first victim. They've done this a hundred times. They usually use some type of biblical phrase in their name to provide them with some credibility, and then they steal your money. What a shame. It happens all of the time. Please be mindful of who you're doing business with. Ask for references. Who have you done work for? Be diligent there. That piece of pro that piece right there, the GC, is not going to take you one hour. If it takes you 30 minutes, if you met him at the hot dog stand at Home Depot, you don't have enough information on him. Have you visited their rehabs? What projects are they currently working on? What kind of crews do they have? Do they have insurance? People that have insurance are, are more worthy than those that don't and because insurance costs money. But guess what? It's going to cost your project a little bit more money. But you're going to save yourself a million dollars of aggravation. So we don't vet GCs, but I know from my experience that that's one of the most important parts of this entire transaction. And make sure you're working with the best of the best. And you do that not by not paying them. You do that by not finding the cheapest because they're going to cause you troubles. So good questions. A lot of questions about how do you exit a loan? Um, this is the art. It's the, it's, it's, it's the, it's the true art. It, define your strategy and then have a backup strategy. I, for example, am a fix and flip. So I'm a fix plus uh, flip, right? So that equals I need to do high quality work, right? Qual... Uh, I spelled that wrong. Work. Okay, I need to do high quality work so that I can get highest dollar, right? Money. Well, if you don't do the high quality work and you're trying to get money, what happens is, oh, people walk into your house and it looks like a pile of garbage or it looks like your kids put it together. They're not paying you, they walk out. And then you're left with this problem of, hey, I put, instead of $40,000 into the rehab, I put 20 in. And if I would have put the other 20, I would have gotten the top dollar, but I didn't. And so now it's my exit. So my first thing is on the fix and flip, make sure you are creating a brand. Go look at what other fix and flippers are doing. They're on MLS. You see all of the houses, 60s, 70s, 80s, 30s, 40s, and 50s houses that are all renovated. They all have the same look today, right? They all look good. They got really nice tiles. The bathrooms are all tiled. The glass showers in place. The cabinets are looking good. The countertops are looking good. That's what they're doing. If you're not doing it, do it. Redoing the hardwood floors, making sure that it looks great, finishing the basement. Don't do crap work. Crap work is crap sale. So if you're going to do a fix and flip, make sure you're doing a quality job. You can get every dollar out of a deal if you do it right. We talk about exit, and we talk a lot about this, right? <clears throat> right? Everyone know that acronym, I'm sure, BRRRR. 
So we talk about the burst strategy, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? And so when we talk about exit, you need to have credit to be able to do this exit strategy. The minimum DSCR credit today is about 660 on the credit score. So when you, when you submit your loan application and you have a 450 credit score and you say your exit is refinanced, your loan is going to be rejected because there's no way you're going to be able to execute on your business plan because we know you have a 450 credit score because you told us and you're never going to get to that strategy. But this strategy is so powerful. If you're all into a property and you can get $25,000 cash back at closing tax-free, and now you've got a cash flowing property that's giving you $200 a month in cash flow into the left pocket, and in the right pocket, you have $25,000, how good are you feeling? So you've got to pick your path. If you don't know what your strategy is, figure it out. If you have questions about exit strategy, talk to me. Ask a question on our Instagram. Figure out questions. Ask questions. Let's talk. But coming into this and saying, I'm just going to make some money doesn't seem like a good business plan. For us, the first strategy or the value add opportunity is huge. We're buying value add properties in Chicago right now. We're buying 290 units that need gut remodels. We're going to remodel them and put them back in the market. And we're going to refinance and get all of our money back, plus some in this pocket. Very important. Pick, pick your strategy and make sure you execute on it. You should spend 40 hours a week at your rehab. What are you going to do? I don't know. Walk around. Look at the paint. Look at the landscaping. Get creative. Look at other deals. Go on all the various websites. There's so much to do in this world. Go do it. So we're going to, so someone said, how do you find deals? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I've got a friend of mine. His name's Jerry Norton and he is the flipping mastery. He follow him on Instagram, follow him on his channel, follow him. But Jerry has this little trick that he gives to everybody. That's not a little trick anymore. www.propwire.com. Go join that site. Guess how much it costs? Nothing. It's free. Prop, prop stream costs you $97. Jerry Norton is giving it away for free. What is wrong with him? I ask him every day, to be honest with you, but free. Prop wire is free. If you're a real estate investor and you're not on prop wire, you don't know what you're doing. I just told you what to do. It's so easy. I'm PropWire. You can put in your zip code. If I want to go look at a zip code, that's, or if I want to put in an area, I will go look at Oak Creek, Wisconsin. And in Oak Creek, you can then under filters, you can stack these filters. You can stack filters. I want to know absentee owners with high equity or owns free and clear that have owned them for more than five years. I want those people because those people might want to sell. I don't want to know someone that just moved into their house that owns the property and is 100% leveraged, not interested. Make sense? Visit propwire.com. It's free. If you want to, you can then skip trace your, your people you're looking for and start creating mailers and callers. And, and, and that's how you start finding people. This, you, can spend, you can spend 40 hours a week on PropWire. I just pulled a query for myself. There's 6,000 listings of people I'm interested in talking to. I might start calling them tomorrow. I've got 40 hours of the week to do it. I can keep doing it. We're going to discuss that more. How do you find the deals? Be creative. Be aggressive. There's share of sales. There's prop wire. There, there's absentee owners. There's vacant owners. There's estates. There's, there, there's so many out there. You've got to use your brain and use these resources. Who might be a potential seller? An estate. A person who's own, not owner occupied a property for more than five years that owns it free and clear. Free and clear means you can buy it for a dollar because they don't have any obligation to a lender. The second question, uh, so the most common reason people fail is because they don't have the perseverance, they don't have the, they're undercapitalized and they don't have the drive to be successful because it's so easy to fail. It's the easiest thing to do. 
How many people have created a New Year's resolution and within 48 hours of it have failed it? Me. I will not drink for this next month and I'm drinking at night. Good one, Scott. I'm going to go to the gym every single day and the next morning I'm too tired to get up because it was a long night. Me. It's human nature. Humans are just prone to be lazy and, and, and not fulfill their obligations. But there are people out there that are so driven that have this drive of hustle and mentality that you can't understand. If you can't go to bed tonight because you're so driven that we just talked for one hour and you want to go make $100,000 this year, then you are going to be successful. I can promise you that. You're going to drive yourself so crazy because you want to make $100,000. But tomorrow morning, if you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm too tired. I want to, I'm tired. Uh, you're going to fail. No one wants to hear you're tired. Because no one's going to pick you up and say, hey, Jimmy, don't be tired. Let's go be successful. It's not happening. Any other questions? Um, so we have a lot more questions that are coming in. Um, it is 7 o'clock. We promise you we'd be mindful of your time. If anybody has to go, I totally understand and respect your decision uh, to go if you have to. Um, I will stick around and answer a few more questions. If there are other questions that come in that we aren't able to answer and due to timing, um, I'm going to keep answering as many as I can. And then I promise you uh, we'll continue to answer them. I can also tell you that we're going to make a post tomorrow uh, at Hard Money Scott. And we're going to link to this information uh, as well as some of the points we're discussing. And you can always answer your question there. And I promise you I'll answer it. If I can't answer it, I'll get one of my friends to. Thanks for being here, by the way. Um, What do I what? So you're asking for a script. What do you say to someone you're cold calling? Well, let's talk about that. There are many scripts out there that are available for free. PropWire has them, by the way. When you go on PropWire, you can get a call scripts. You can get a call script on the internet today for free. <clears throat> My friend Eric Klein happens to have a very good call script that he uses that's been very successful for what he does, which is he's a wholesaler who's out there hustling and he's got the tenacity to win. But what I'll tell you is the following. You're trying to create motivation out of them. You're trying to understand motivation. You're trying to get into a, their house to get an appointment to view their property, right? So hello, Mr. Caller, my name is Scott. I see you've owned the property at 123 Main Street. Have you ever, are you interested in selling it? Oh, Johnny, I'll never sell this house to you and blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, Johnny, thank, uh, thank you for letting me know that. Uh, I'll call you back in 30 days. Didn't he just tell you he's never interested in selling it? Great. Eric's number is he always makes you write down your phone number. Hi, this is Eric. Can I give you my phone number in case you ever want to sell? That's one of his tips. So there's 50 ways to do it, but you've got to do it. You can't mumble. You can't sound uneducated. You can't sound like you're a scammer. You want to sound like you are a business owner. Hello, my name is Scott. I would like to purchase the property you own at 123 Main Street. I see you've owned it since 1947. I see it's a three bedroom, two bath ranch located uh, in M Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And um, I buy in that neighborhood. Would you like a non uh, binding offer? It'll take me 10 minutes to walk to your house and I can give you that offer. Uh, well, we're considering selling it. Okay, let's keep talking. Well, why are you consider selling it? Well, my wife just passed away. You can go down that rabbit hole forever. There are a million scripts out there. Listen and read every one of them. That'll take you 40 hours. How hard are you willing to work? Spend the 40 hours. Get all the scripts. If you can't get the scripts, I'll get them for you. But figure it out. The scripts are most important. Practice with yourself. Practice with your mother, your sister, your brother, your uncle. Don't practice for one hour. Don't practice for one day. Be a master of the script, the art of selling. People say, I can sell ice to Eskimos. How can, how can you do it? Persuasiveness works. Be honest. Be diligent. If you're going to go in and make a buy, buy low. Jerry. On prop wire. Yeah. Uh, go back to that for a minute. Uh, if you go to Jerry Norton's YouTube page, uh, Danny just told me there are some live scripts. You can actually hear him on the phone with other sellers. So uh, he's at Flippy, 
flipping mastery. He's got 400,000 YouTube followers. Follow him. Listen to his stuff. He's the, he's a genius. He does an amazing amount of, of, of he's very successful. He, he's been a good friend. I talk to Jerry all the time. He, he, he's, a, he's a wizard in this space. Um, listen to what he's done. Take, some, take your own cues from it. So the question is, can you have multiple loans out with the hard money code at one time? The answer is absolutely. Build a relationship with us. Start with one. One equals three. We want to know that you can pay off your loan. How can you do that? Buy, take out a loan and repay us. Very simple. Then you can get three loans. Well, now I've got three properties working. Then I can get up to five loans. Yes, we want to work with people that are doing multiple loans. The answer is yes. We have people in our portfolio that are doing three or five loans a month but they're turning through the loans. They're getting out of the loans. That's the most important thing that happens. So the answer is absolutely yes. So tax and capital gains is a whole different world. There's, there's obviously a 1031, which is a like kind exchange. We do those on our large assets when we're disposing of an asset. As a real estate investor, if you if you are a true real estate investor, if you're spending 40 hours a week doing real estate investing, it doesn't become, um, you, you can make some modifications on your tax um, returns. Speak to an accountant, a tax accountant, let them know that you're a real estate investor full time. This is your inventory that you're buying. This is what you're selling. You can get a lot of other business deductions. Make sure you're accounting for your real estate properly. We're going to do an entire webinar on real estate accounting. It, it's so fun that when you get to the end of it, you're like, wow, that was amazing. But real estate accounting, whoever asked that question is the most important part of this business. Knowing your scorecard, which is your profit and loss statement every month is so important to you. And we're gonna go through that uh, in another webinar. But the answer is 1031s are great. <clears throat> um, we, we do do them on our larger transactions. Um, if you're making money and you have to pay tax, that's not the end of the world. Don't forget, if you're making $100,000 salary, you're paying tax. All right, guys, it's 710. Uh, I can't thank you enough to participate, to the people that have participated. If you have participated with a question, drop your uh, email, excuse me, drop your address in the in the chat. Oh, I'm sorry, don't drop your address. We're going to reach out to you because we'll keep it for privacy's sake. We're going to just email, we'll, we'll get to you, email you and get you a t-shirt. I thank you enough for doing that. Please follow me at hardmoneyscott.com on Instagram. If you have other questions um, that we haven't fully covered, we're going to discuss those in the next webinars. Please um, uh, continue to communicate with us. If you want to just learn more about our, our lending, uh, reach out to us and contact us on our website. If you don't have a live deal, if you have a live deal, submit a loan application. Um, communicate, communicate, over-communicate. Um, Thank you so much for being part of this webinar. Um, as I said to you, uh, I hope to see you being successful in real estate. Um, remember, started from nothing, you can get to the top. There's nothing special about anything that anyone does except perseverance and hustle. Don't think about it as a get rich quick scheme. Think about it as a marathon to build wealth and cash flow. Thank you all for being here. I'm Scott Lurie with the Hard Money Co. Uh, thank you to my team and thank you all for being here tonight. I wish everyone a wonderful evening.